The humidity is kind of cool because it makes me feel like I'm back in Georgia. We've really been trying to make progress. Special teams in general, the whole unit. Been making the most out of practice. Really been the whole time. There's no seconds wasted at all. That's something I really like about this group of guys. Really taking last year's kind of work ethic and taking it up a notch. And for you, just taking that next step. It's still consistency and hang time. That's the big thing. We don't want any miss hits like I had last year at Clemson or at Temple. Nothing like that. So the big thing with me right now is still consistency, hang time, and eliminating those you know critical air plays. Do you see a big difference from yourself this year? Just feeling more confident, more comfortable. Certainly, definitely. I feel more confident for sure, and um, I feel like I'm striking the ball better, which is a good thing. Like I said, there's not as many miss hits right now, so that's definitely. I think I feel more comfortable back there with Scott. It's very smooth, so. Right. That's something I'm really like. Scott's been doing a great job all camp for me. Do you have to have a specific personality to be a, a, a really good punter? Because you seem to have a pretty big one. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I think everybody's a little different, but for me, you know, I just enjoy it. I love Notre Dame so much, and I think you know Notre Dame's always going to be Notre Dame without me. So I just trying to make the most out of Notre Dame while I have it, and um, making the most of my time here. I um. I know punting something I love to do, but it's always one of those things that if I'm not on the field, that's a good thing. So I love seeing first downs just much, you know, just a little more than I love punting. So I just, um, I guess, I guess you could say that. You also seem to be in on a lot of the tackling drills as well, um, and you made some tackles a lot. Uh, the the kind of knock on punters is that they may be scared to get in there and get. Right. What makes you uh, so excited to get your nose in there? I'm just a part of one of the guys. We all go to work every day, every winter workout. We're all doing the same thing. I don't view myself as any different. I think I'm a football player first before I'm a specialist, and I think you have to have that mindset because at the end of the day, you got to be able to ta tackle the ball carrier. I had a missed tackle at Navy last year and at Boston College, and those are ones I've kind of thought about all off season. And something that's motivating me to get in those tackling drills and work on that kind of stuff. Sounds like you got a little boomstick in you, uh, Pat McAfee. Oh, maybe? Trying, yeah, he's a great guy to look up to. He's uh, he's definitely not afraid to put his nose in there. Those are some boring shorts. Yeah, you came out there a couple days ago with a lot better. <laughs> um, I like these though. These are the Under Armour ones they're wearing. I got all my other ones put up, um, packed up in the uh, in the room. But for Cam, just wearing the Under Armour stuff. <laughs> you talk about uh, miss hits, and you didn't have many last year. You seem to have the attitude that there shouldn't be any. Is that is that a realistic goal for you as you go into a season? It should be a realistic goal. I think you know with the hard work that we put in as a group and with myself, I don't think I should allow that for myself. I hold myself to a standard, and I feel that you know I really don't want to let the team down by doing that kind of stuff because that really compromises the defense. And I think for me, I know punting is technically a fourth down offensive play, but I look at it as the first play of defense. You know, it gets the defense hype if we put the ball on the five yard line. The defense is going out there confident, knowing they're about to stuff those guys and hit them right in the mouth.